Do you want to create a beautiful logo for your game, but yours looks like this? Yes. Then follow these three methods to create your beautiful logo. First, create a name for your logo. Okay, first you want to write out what your name is going to be. You don't have to do name, but you could just do a picture. But I'm just going to choose logo. And now just choose the color for your logo. And we'll add on later. The next step is to move the position and rotation of your logo. I'm going to do sort of like an offset thing. And another cool trick is if you hold shift, it will lock the logo or text or image into a certain area. Now let's make an outline for your logo. First, select your logo, go up to the outline section and select your thickness and color of the outline. And you can also, if you want, uh, I'll just copy and paste this real quick, just have a smaller outline so then you can have two colors at once and make a cool design. Now as cool as it is already, we should add a shadow effect to it. What you want to do is copy and paste your logo and, and set it to the back layer, then move it slightly off from the original one so that it looks like it's casting a shadow. As a final step to our vector logo, I'm just going to add some small little shapes around it just to add some like cool effects and make it seem more appealing. Our vector logo has been completed. Now onto the pixel logo. If you're wanting to create a pixel art game, then the best way to make your logo is with pixels. But Scratch doesn't have a built-in engine for pixel art, so we're going to have to switch to bitmap mode and zoom in really really far as far as you can. And once you do, you'll see that bitmap actually uses pixels for its art. I'm going to turn my vector art into pixel version. So. I found the best way to do pixel art is to just practice a lot. The more you do, the better you get. It's pretty hard to do, but you get used to it. Now doing outlines with pixel art is one of my favorite things to do with pixel art because you don't just use the outline tool or anything. You actually just get to draw it and you can change like you can add multiple colors and cool shading effects. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I just realized my logo looks like it says Lego in this pixel form. Alright, our pixel logo has been completed. But what could the last type of logo be? I mean, there's not any other kind of ways we could draw one. But you see, there is a way. You've just got to use the paintbrush tool and draw it out yourself. It looks a lot like a hand-drawn thing, and it can make for some really cool, like old and new looking logos. To create a shadow, you just want to do the same thing as vector art where you just copy and paste it, put it in the back layer, and change the color slightly and move it off slightly. For the outline, I'm going to do one of the tricks I showed you earlier, where you just set the outline to a little small like two, and then it looks pretty good and nice. Our hand-drawn logo has been finished. Okay, we're done with our logos. I hope you learned something and how to make some kind of cool logo using text. I might do another video on like images and like thumbnails, so stay tuned. You can hide, but you can't run from me.